No boat building video is complete without a picture of the sailing ship. This is the USS Constitution, the oldest floating warship in the world. Welcome to Jenkins Boatworks. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this video, we continue working on our stand-up paddleboard. And as we get ready to do our fiberglass work, I decide whether or not I want to do a seal or a hot coat. Well, it's time to start some epoxy work. I've been debating as to whether or not to do a seal coat of epoxy on here before we put on the fiberglass cloth. I have never done, I think they sometimes call it a hot coat or a seal coat. I've never done a seal coat and I've built multiple canoes, kayaks, and that sort of thing. The wood that we have used on here is pretty dry. So I don't really expect that we should have a whole lot of outgassing of uh, like moisture trying to get out of the wood when the epoxy is, is curing. It heats up when it cures. So that's a reason to not do a seal coat. Um, I'm going to use a four ounce cloth, fiberglass cloth, which is just about one of the lightest weight cloths you can get. That means that it is four ounces per yard. And we, we want something relatively lightweight uh, because we don't need a ton of protection and um, we want to keep the weight of the board down. So adding a, adding a seal coat would increase the weight a little bit, but I think that, especially with the experience that I have, I can put the cloth on here and put the, put the epoxy resin down on top of it and get it to go through and penetrate the wood as well as uh, saturate and soak the cloth. We will do a weave fill. So in other words, once, once that initial epoxy sets up, uh, we'll give it maybe 24 hours, maybe not quite that long, just depending on when we can get back in here and fill the weave. So what, it, when, we, when we do this first coat, we won't be able to get it perfect. We will be able to see parts of the fiberglass cloth weave even after the first initial uh, saturation. And so then we'll come back and do a, a fill coat. And we may even have to do two. Uh, if we do two, most of the time that's not a full coating that you go back and you hit the spots where, where you can still see the cloth. Part of, the other, part of the rest of the reason I don't think to do a seal coat is because there's what they call mechanical bond. And if you do the seal coat, you pretty much need to be able to lay your fiberglass out and do that within, well, probably 12 hours. And that way, when you put the next layer of epoxy on, it actually makes a mechanical uh, chemical bond I'm sorry, not mechanical, chemical bond with that first layer of epoxy. Otherwise, you gotta sand it all down so that you can get a mechanical bond. But then that roughs it up and it may make your cloth not be able to lay smooth. To do a seal coat or not is quite honestly one of those topics that people have thought about and argued for years. And I have never done it, so I'm not gonna start now. We're gonna lay our cloth out, get it nice and smooth, and then we'll mix up some epoxy and get going. This thing's just super smooth. We sanded it all down to 180 and did it by hand, cleaned it up real good. I don't have any sawdust on my hand. It just feels great, it looks great. I think it's gonna be just beautiful once we get the, once we get the cloth on there. 
If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.